So we are back in beautiful Popoli, which today has turned into a sleepy town because last night was Festa here, hence why all these lights are up. And today we have got a bargain property, literally minutes away from this beautiful piazza. Just wait, just wait while you see this one. I've done uh, a few videos in Popoli and I'll be honest with you every property that we've had there's just one actually sorry there's one that is still left and I will put a link to that in this uh, in the description of this video and it's actually just part of this building here just a little bit further around and it's an apartment there but I will put the link for you and we bring the tours here whenever we uh, whenever we have them always always popular and the properties that we've shown on the tours have gone before they even make it to uh, to the website yesterday or last night was festa here so there, it's very sleepy today in fact i just said to somebody why is it so quiet and they mentioned that uh by the sounds it was quite a heavy night should we say and it's for San Bonifacio. I think that's how you pronounce it. So Saint Bonifacio. You see the sign up there. And that's why they have all these lights. And these lights, I'm just going to show you. And by the way, the house we're going to see is just down this road. And then up some steps to the left. So it's minutes away. Domenico's here. Let me just quickly, even though I've, I have done this before on other videos, which I say I will link. I'll link to the one that's, that's available if you want to have another wander through the town. It's a great town, has all the services, does have train station, lots of buses, easy to get around from here. Easy to get to Pescara, easy to get to Sulmona beach probably half an hour away a number of uh, number of shops there's some uh, oh, a rostachini machine I'm gonna be telling you what a rostachini are on a separate video very soon I'm gonna start doing some lifestyle videos uh, it just has a great feel this place it really does so as I said all the services there's a hospital everything that you need the main street, it has a market twice a week and the market runs all the way down this street which as you can see again is full of lights. Imagine what this looks like in the evening time. All these lights, the Festa lights and obviously there will be Festas in the uh, summer time as well. They also have a Festa for the, for the, uh, completely forgot the name of it now, the famous Italian motorbike. That's terrible isn't it? Completely uh, <laughs> but you just love it when, you're, when your memory fails you like that. Anyway, I'll probably remember it by the time I've finished this. And here is the main, the main uh, part of the town where you can get the buses from just down here. You can see one of the green buses there. And this is really beautiful as well. There's a park area in the middle. There's hotel at the, the end here this is a great bar Vespa that's what I was thinking because the the person that invented that is from here and the helicopter so there you go did you know that oh, it's a great place nice nice town nice feel not too big to be impersonal and not too small where there's nothing here and then obviously you've got many other towns and villages around here as well so as I say I will link into this video the other apartment that is available everything else that we had in Popoli has been sold so let's head back well I'll head back to the piazza where we started and we'll go and see this uh, 
this bargain property if you're looking for a foothold here in glorious Abruzzo then this could just be the one for you you ready let's pick it back up from around the corner so the piazza that I've just been on is here and the property is just up these just up these steps literally before this this wall here there's the last house on the where that cat is that's just jumped out if you, if you see that we'll start the video again from the top of the steps and uh, just wait while you see this little bargain so the road we've just come from is this one down here and the property is this that's not bad is it <laughs> great condition and it's one of those ha those houses yes it's a small property but the location perfect right in the middle of town you've got all the services here you've got great public transport everything else it is what it is as i like to say with this kind of property um it, it's good to go just bring your suitcases yeah there are some things that you could do if you wanted to but even to use it as a rental property it would be fantastic i think this is a a great little property and the fact that you're in a town with all these services is a is only a is only a positive so obviously it's a, it's a stone property don't you just love these things that they have in many italian villages you have a small balcony off the bedroom and there is this little area here just outside the uh, just outside the door so you could possibly get a chair and a table out there I've got Domenico hid around the corner I think he's disturbed the dog <laughs> He'll be frantically trying to tell it to stay quiet. You ready to look inside? It's not going to be one of our longest videos. <laughs> but well worth it. Well worth it if you want to be in this type of location. Shall we start from here? Start from the, the basement room. This is classed as a cantina. Um, so, But if you wanted to, you could... You could easily get a bed in here and you could probably even bring a bathroom down here as well. I love this this stone arch, really, really nice. And there's a little balcony off the bedroom at the top. Okay, let's have a quick look in here. There's not much light. Remember that there's more than one switch here. No, that doesn't. There you go just got that one light at the moment but as you can see it is a good size hopefully you can see that the radiators in great condition uh, the boiler which is here it's not brand new but it's certainly not old it looks in good uh, good condition and I really like these these windows I also noticed upstairs they have the shutters on the on the inside as well really nice wood uh, nice wood doors they are double glazed very nice like the the arch at the top so this room as i say it is classed as a cantina uh, whether it could be officially changed into a bedroom i'd have to check with my geometry there is a window there and there is light here because it all depends how much light comes into it as well but at the end of the day there's nothing to stop you putting a bed down here and the bathroom, the bathroom upstairs, it's a little bit strange in the bathroom upstairs because there's the WC and B day and sink in one room and then a shower uh, on the top floor. So there's a couple of things that, that you could change, but the, 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 uh, the bathroom is just above us here. So you could easily get a bathroom down there if you wanted to. Consider that if there isn't a bathroom there and you wanted to put one in, you've got to consider somewhere between five to 7,000 euros, I would say. That should get you that in. But I think to put one in this corner here and then have this as a bedroom would be perfect. Or maybe you'd want it as something else. 
I just think it's good to have if you had a, a, a if you could officially change it into a bedroom uh, with a bathroom it'd be fantastic just as a little rental as well or would you use it with something else you tell me let me know let me know in the comments so we're going to see the rest of the house so Domenico has definitely disturbed the dog. He's sat behind me. He's, he's hiding, but in the most obvious place in the world. Let's see if we can uh, see if we can see. Oh no, we can always see his legs. Dome! <laughs> There's the Domenico wave. A video is not the same, is it, without Domenico's wave? You're really in the old part of town here. So this little section obviously belongs uh to the property and yeah i mean I, you could put a, pull a chair out here if you wanted to and then we've got another beautiful door with a beautiful stone surround you ready to go inside are we ready let's do it so into the main living area and this is quite a, a decent size bearing in mind this is the living space so this is your living room living kitchen diner if you like obviously we've got two tables in here there is space i would say for a small sofa or rejig it around a little bit but everything everything's here everything's here and everything's working it's just a just to move in and enjoy fireplace working fireplace some people do ask me about these the, the, why they put wood uh, in front of them it's because if nobody's living here during the winter time they don't want anything falling down the chimney or any birds getting in or anything like well it's the same in the summertime as well just don't want anything sort of nesting in here or anything like that just just stops any any chance of that happening small kitchen basic kitchen um, kitchens here are so cheap if you look on uh, websites such as IKEA and things like that, you could get a two meter kitchen. This is probably just over two meters, but you can pay less than a thousand euros for them. But if you spent 1500, 2000 maximum, you could get a great kitchen uh, in here with no problem at all. But maybe you don't need more for a holiday home. What else do you need? There's a washing machine, space for a washing machine, fridge, oven's a little bit small, sink, there's not a lot of storage, but They've, they've got this and these shelves they use it as a little holiday home and that's what more do you need but it is actually a decent sized room you could change things around a little bit for the for the sofa even if you maybe didn't want this and put the table more towards that side so it's close to the window then you could have a sofa sort of along along here a few different options I'm sure you know better than me ouch it's good though isn't it for the price and then just walk straight out of your door and into town so the door here is a little bit low and I did wonder why but now looking at it is because above us here is the stair line but you can maybe get a little bit more they should have probably took a little bit more out by that but I'm 186 and my eye line is here <laughs> sorry I'm 182 so yeah I do have to sort of uh up down to get in there but again it is what it is and in here we have the usual suspects WC and B day and then the the sink so yeah it is a little bit low because obviously you've got the, the stair here but for this price and this location can we really complain you just manage don't you I like this, uh, this old door as well and the other great thing as I've said before is the fact that it is habitable it is there's nothing to do radiators here boilers here electrics work water works everything's the electrics are not new but they're also not old there's a, a breaker box uh, there so Let's head, head up the stairs. 
nice stone steps a little bit steep but not majorly and there's not many of them now this room up here seems to be much bigger I think it's because the thickness of the walls in these houses they get narrower as you go up so this is a big uh, a big bedroom to be fair and what they've done is add a shower into here and it's literally just behind this curtain which is a little bit strange but again if it's a holiday home for two of you it's absolutely fine nice ceilings nice vaulted ceilings and out here just a small this this is not double glazed so this is not like the one downstairs but it would be reasonably easy to make those double glazed and you've got a shutter on the inside as well so you're just looking looking onto the old old town and a little bit of the mountains in that direction but again this is all about the fact that you're in the middle of you're in the middle of town So, as you know, I do like to say what you can, can do and can't do and all the rest of it. What I would be tempted to do here is simple changes for me. This bed, I would put against that wall. This wardrobe, or similar wardrobe, I don't know if they're leaving the, uh, the furniture, I will check uh, on that. But some sort of wardrobe over there then i would potentially extend this bathroom even if it just comes out to the edge of of this bed with a door here so when you open a sink in front of you a wc to the side and then obviously the shower where it is and then you've resolved that little problem of not having a uh, not having a a WC upstairs. I think that's a pretty good idea. Let me just show you the shower. The shower's actually, oops, <laughs> just wrecked this curtain. Uh, the shower's actually quite a good. Oh, you would actually laugh now because that thing's just fallen on my head. Right, let me remove the curtain. <laughs> people say, some people say, when you do these videos, you should be more professional. When things go wrong, you should start again. This is probably one of those moments. Anyway, decent sized shower and it's got a window that is fairly new. It's double glazed as well. Let me put this back up now. See, you enjoy seeing these little parts of the video, don't you? Keep it real. That's what I think. There you go. So, potentially I will be now stood in the bathroom. And I don't think you would lose much out of this bedroom. I'd say just put that up against that wall. So also you can look outside as well when you're in bed and then any sort of wardrobe on the other side what do you think to that idea any good it's only a little idea probably have to consider i don't know say between four to five thousand maybe to do that whether you'd need a macerator the hardest thing would be to find the drains for the wc so you may have to use a macerator pump but if you do it's no big deal, is it? There you go, folks. That's this one. That was a quick tour, wasn't it? Ouch. <laughs> but what a great place. I think it is, anyway. Shall we do a quick final thought? It's going to be quick, but, but let's do it. From a sunny day in beautiful Popoli, my final thoughts are simply stunning the property is great the property is a stunning property when you look at it from the outside and inside it's great it is what it is what do i mean by that it's not pretending to be anything it's ready it's good to go it's a holiday home possibly more than a home could make a home for uh, maybe a single person you certainly don't feel like you're crammed in here the rooms are a decent size 
but it's just a great location and it is ready to go and that is so important yes i've mentioned you can do some possibly extend this bathroom possibly put another bathroom down on the bottom floor to make it two beds it's they're, they're all things that you could potentially do but you don't have to do anything just one of those places where you can just just move straight in and enjoy i don't know what's in here i didn't look last time it's just for air great place superb town Popoli has everything here including bars restaurants there's um, a train station hospital bus service you're half an hour away from Pescara from the coast you're close to Sulmona within 20 minutes 25 minutes just a beautiful beautiful location so it's just a no-brainer property it's just let's buy ourselves a little home in Italy that we're just so we can get there and then maybe you're looking to invest heavier in future maybe thinking about moving here and you just want somewhere just to put you on for now that maybe you could turn into a rental property later that's the kind of place this is just think it's a it's a great place you got these you could spend money on another kitchen if you wanted a couple of thousand that would make it even better but again you don't need to this room's got a fair bit of furniture in and two tables so you could declutter this a little bit you got the the little bathroom in here which again is more than usable especially if you extended upstairs as well it's great then to have a bathroom on you'd have a potentially have a bathroom on all floors i think it's just a great property love the love the doors i think the outside looks really this is not double glazed by the way these doors but they are in really good condition these and again with the shutters on the outside you have this tiny little space out here that two of you could sit out there with no problem don't have any amazing views but you're part of these little little italian communities that are just i don't know i love places like this love it and then you have the extra little room at the bottom that you could potentially change into uh, have as a bedroom or maybe a bathroom down there walk to the bottom of these steps turn right and you're straight into the main square where we started the video it's just a great property do you agree let me know let me know in the comments below and as per usual thank you so much for all your support on the channel and on our live streams that we do every Tuesday. All I've got left to say from beautiful Popoli is whatever you do, whatever you do, do not miss this one.